Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpios, it is your season. We just had a new moon in Scorpio, Eclipse. Super intense energy, right? Scorpios are intense as fuck. Quiet, they're observant, they're intuitive, they're secretive. All right, so we're gonna be using the Past Life Oracle deck to kick things off. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Scorpio. I've done all 12 Zodiac signs for November. So if you haven't watched your sign yet, go check it out. I tell everybody, even if you, you know, are drawn to watch a sign that's not actually your sign, maybe it's your counterpart sign. Watch it if you feel drawn to it. All right, we have angels. I heard angels and demons right off the top of my, I mean, I can't even talk. Right off the bat and off the top of my head, it reminds me of an inner battle, like battling our own demons. There's this angelic presence in someone's life here where they battle between spirituality, religion. Uh, someone here also is battling between, I mean, I'm just going to say it as it comes, good and evil. I don't mean evil as in like horrible, malicious intent, but temptation. being tempted to go back into old behaviors and cycles and old ways, uh, maybe even entertain some devil dick, okay? Poonani, whatever it is for you. Someone here is also very divinely protected by angelic presence in their life. There's a strong angelic presence but again, it's angels and demons. Bottom of the deck is spouse. A past life relationship, someone has been holding very dearly to them all this time, all these lifetimes. They've been hanging on to this particular lover. Scorpios are very nostalgic, y'all. They remember everything too. And so they are, it's like, it's, like, it's like, I remember, I remember, I remember, but bits and pieces until they just feel it. It's a feeling, right? Scorpios are feeling, it's intuitive, they feel it. They feel this connection that they can't quite necessarily put their finger on, but they know that it's something super deep. And for some of you, if you're the Scorpio or the cross watcher, you couldn't find it in this life. It's like someone's trying to find it that feeling that they feel, and they have not been lucky achieving that yet. Maybe they've come really close, but no cigar. This is someone that you have exchanged vows with in a past life. This person could have died, hence the angel's energy. They were your guardian angel, you were their guardian angel. Um, and, and it really is very indicative of in, an, in, an, in some of the lifetimes, one incarnated, the other didn't, and the other one that didn't watched over and guided the one that incarnated physically. So this is two peas in a fucking pod. This is ride or die. This is, this is like um, Bonnie and Clyde, angels and demons. Maybe in past lives, you guys did not great things. Yeah, see, I told you, it's, it's, you can feel it. It's the one. Two of fucking cups. The two of cups is the energy of like past life energy, right? Partnership, soulmate, twin flame, the one. This is the one they've been searching for. They're waiting for this one. They, cause, cause Scorpios have extreme willpower, yeah. They, they just do. They have like this weird, crazy willpower. They would rather be alone than be in a superficial, horrible relationship. Like they would fuck you, but they, but, but loving and trusting you is completely off the table if it's not someone that they love or trust. 
So the Two of Cups tells us that there is this union or connection that has been outstanding from a past life that someone is waiting for. It's waiting for the one. And the Empress, Mother Energy, Matriarch. You guys have had kids together in a past life. You know, they worshipped the ground that this feminine walked on. This was the mother of their children or mother of their child, right? However, that's going to work. There is this sense of they absolutely... And, and in this life, that's how they'll know because this person will have them like almost like under a spell. Like, did you put a spell on me? And it's like, fuck no. Did you put a spell on me? Like, fuck no. There, it's just the, the spell is their love for each other. It's hypnotic. It's otherworldly. Ten of swords here. So this ended horrifically. I think someone died in a past life and the pain of losing this person was so fucking tremendous someone shut their feelings off king of swords now king of swords can be aquarius gemini libra energy right but it really is someone who's gone cold someone who has shut their feelings off they they became emotionally detached their heart went cold Six of Swords, they're on their way. Holy fuck, look at that, the Six of Cups. The old past life soulmate is on its way. For those of you that are connected to Aquarius, I just did Aquarius, um, their reading yesterday, I believe it was, and their shit was all about a past life connection coming back to life. So if that resonates with you somehow, some way, I would watch that one too. Just the magician alchemists, creators, artistic. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, see, it's what this person does for a living. The person, you are the counterpart, right, is someone who is very creative. Uh, they could be artistic in work. Maybe they're a painter, they're a writer, they're a singer, right? they're a performer, uh, they could be a chef. It's someone that works with their hands, so someone that could actually physically do things with their hands. They create. They create magic with their hands. Page of Swords. That's nah, totally Scorpio energy. It's spying. <laughs> Keeping tabs, spying. That's totally Scorpio energy, right? They're the FBI's of the Zodiac. You are. No shame in the game, honey. You are. The house, really private. And then concern. Someone's concerned because a particular person, look, coffin bottom of the deck. See, I told you, something ended in a past life very, very horribly. So the house thing here, someone could live alone. They like their autonomy, they love their independence. They're very private. There's concern over a home or a house as well. This may have been an ongoing thing because that's what it feels like. It feels like there could have been this house has been in question or this house has been an issue or a topic of like the, like the topic of conversation or something. Maybe it's up for sale. Toil and labor. Wow, this is a hard worker. See, bottom of the deck's the family room. There's that private. Privacy, private, secret, and then despair, bottom of the deck. Someone's stressed out about something. Maybe they're stressed out at home or they are, maybe they're worried about a home, a house, trying to save a house. Um, but I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel like this person has financial issues. I don't feel that. Look for a sign. I heard one, two, three. I don't know why. That could be a sign for some of you. Maybe some of you, that's angel numbers. You always see one, two, three, which is step by step, right? One, two, three. Don't stop. Get it, get it. So yeah, keep going. Even if it's baby steps and no. Romance bottom of the deck. I feel like a lot of people, you've met people in the past and they weren't it. You're, you're like a knower. Nope. 
Hey, I want you want to meet my co. Nope. Hey, what about nope? Hey, you want to go out? And nope. Someone's a noper. Nope. They're not open. They don't want to go and hang out at the restaurant or the bar. They don't want to do these things. They love being home. It's like they're at home waiting for their lover to come back is what it is. And it's all past life. Children. I feel like you guys had children in the past or someone may have even died of childbirth. <sighs> Imagine how unbelievably traumatic. You are so fucking in love. You think you guys are having like the, the most amazing life. Now you're going to have children. And then like your wife dies giving birth to your kid. And then like... Imagine that kind of pain and torment and that would carry with you for probably eternity. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, there's a lot of forgiveness needed. Someone's angry. They're pissed. They're mad. They've turned cold. It reminds me of the Scrooge, right? Or it reminds me of like um, the Grinch. You know, like how their heart softens. That's this. Somebody's heart softens separation, bottom of the deck. Absolutely. Tremendous separation here. Lifetimes. Not even years. You're talking lifetimes. Lifetimes. So imagine after all these lifetimes, you see them again. And obviously it would be different bodies, different muggle bodies and such, right? But the eyes never change is what they say. The eyes never change. The sun, healing, happiness, joy, bliss. The song, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. That's coming up. That song's important somehow. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Someone sang it. The lady. Uh, I guess we know who sang it. The lady. The feminine. The wife. The mother. You also have the lilies. The lilies is is classy. It's 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 elders. It's wisdom. It's experience. Right. There's a, 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 a matriarch energy coming through and it's very motherly, but it's, it's like a grandmother aunt energy as well too. I'm gonna do a few more cards and then we're gonna get into your extended, okay? And should you wish to rent your extended, you're gonna click that upside down triangle below. It's gonna bring up the description page here on YouTube. All the information that you need to know is there. First link will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstravel.com. This is going to be in the Zodiac Intimate Extended Readings because we will be using the Intimate, aka Dirty Deck, in the Extended along with some others. Um, and also my Patreon link is below. If you love erotic tarot readings, bitch, I do them there. And there's a shitload of exclusive content on my Patreon as well. All right, you have the Empress again. Empress and the Six of Cups. It's reuniting with the wife reuniting with the mother of my children something here about birth mother it's really important and relevant here but six of cups again past life so the empress is pure abundance right but the empress is the one who who's the mother the one who held it down that's the divine feminine so the, this, it's return of the wife or the mother is what it is like they've been holding out for that person waiting and it's like finally meeting them again but it also is extreme abundance. But anyways, let's get into your extended. I want to thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please don't forget that I haven't forgotten anybody when it comes to your personal readings that you have requested. I just have an extremely long list of people to go through. So if you haven't heard from me yet, it's because I haven't gotten to your name yet on the list. Lilith Bracelet is going to be going out sometime in Scorpio season. I have not forgotten about you. I just haven't mailed them out yet. Okay, some of the... Um, Materials for it were out of stock, but really Lilith is Scorpio energy hunty. So she's going out this season sometime very soon. Um, and Magic Moon Waters are going to be going out sometime soon as well too. Um, X marks the spot bracelets are going to be going out after all of those other ones are sent out, okay? 
So anyways, I didn't forget anybody. Everything in divine timing, all right? People are so in a rush to get shit. And it's like, why do you want to have it rushed and it's not time or it's not meant or or it's ugh, that kind of an energy behind it? Just fucking relax. Everything in due time, I promise you. I've been doing this for years, since 2017. I trust my gut. I trust in, in, in delays. I trust in things not working out. And just trust me on timing of things, okay? All right, guys, so thank you so much for all of your donations you guys send me. Thank you for watching all of my videos, um, my ads here on YouTube because it does add to my monetizations and that's really important to me, you guys. Thank you, okay? Without you, there ain't no me. So I'll see you in the extended. Love you guys, bye.